everyone welcome back to my channel so i just thought i'd grab a quick video of this um thing that i'm working on and um share it with you guys so um i'm gonna show you how you can remove the background for um like any picture um so so this can be like really useful if you are a photographer or if you're just someone who um takes like poses and stuff like that i mean there's several ways to do this but i'm gonna show you like one way if you are someone who plays sl and you take a lot of pictures or if you are a creator who takes your pictures in sl um so there's an automatic way to like remove backgrounds um and i'm gonna show you how i do it <laughs> okay so without further ado um i'm gonna start off with um I guess we're just gonna go through the process because I'm currently working on this ad and um, it's pretty much finished, I would say. But now um, I kind of want to take like vendor pictures. Um, so like these are gonna be sold individually and um, they're gonna be like four options per, um, let's see. So they're gonna be four options per pack that makes sense i think that makes sense so they're gonna be four options per pack but i want like this um this option which like shows all the ruffles to be like the main focus so it's gonna be like maybe um on the wall and then like people can purchase like each one individually so um so now what i do is um, so again, there are several ways to do this and this is not like the master way to do it. Um, of course, I'm still like kind of experimenting with like how to list um, accessories and things like that. So like if you go to my story, you'll notice that it's like completely, I mean, you'll, you'll kind of notice like my progression from when I first started creating accessories up until now where I'm like, I've kind of gained like some kind of momentum and like, okay, this is the way I want things to work. So, so yeah, anyway, so this little tip is for, for anyone. Um, it doesn't have to be for creators specifically. Um, I feel like anyone can use this tip. So, um, so what I start out doing is, okay, so right now I'm in, um, Black Dragon. I kind of like to take pictures in Black Dragon because I feel like you can get the full essence of the color and you can also color correct if you want. And, um, I, I think it has like some of the same effects as um, contrast in Photoshop. So, so yeah. Anyway, so I start out like, um, so right now my, my, my avatar is invisible. Um, so I've made like the entire avatar in, invisible and I've worn the accessory, which is what you can see right now. Um, so I'm starting off with, um, you know, the first color and I'm going to go through the process of taking the pictures. And I think I'll, I'll just like speed up this part. Cause like, I don't think that you really need to like watch this part. <laughs> So now I have finished um, taking all the pictures and um, everything is pretty much ready and good to go. So, um, so next what I'm going to do is pull up um, something called Remove um, BG. I'm going to put the link um, in the description box below. So I've been putting like, sometimes I put links in uh, the comments and I noticed that like depending on what the link is like for example with linktree um youtube will literally delete the comment and the reason why i started doing that like putting it in the comments as opposed to the description box um was because um i didn't have enough space 
um, because I was adding other things like what kind of tools I'm using um, because you know I was getting like so many questions about that so I'm like okay I think I probably need to prioritize this just so people um, just so I'm not answering the same question on different platforms so like so anytime anyone like pulls up um, a description they know like automatically like okay this is like what she's using to film and stuff like that anyway um, that's besides the point so I'm going to put the link to um, the software and um, I'm going to put the link to the website in the description box. So um, bear in mind, this is a free software. It's like it's completely free. But um, if you are someone who I, I I'll just be um, I'll just be fully transparent. I actually um I actually pay for the subscription and the subscription allows you to do a bunch of pictures at a time and the reason why I started paying for the subscription was because um, I felt like it was something that I was going to use more often than not and so I figured like with a lot of things I'm like okay if I'm gonna use this um, like all the time I might as well invest in it so that <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm like constantly paying for stuff and, um, yeah, like people make fun of me, like, why are you paying for that when it could be free? But, um, yeah, so anyway, it's again, this is like completely free. You do not have to buy the subscription, only pay for the subscription if you want to. Um, I think I should start saying, um, somewhere that, um, these videos are not sponsored, um, I usually just share stuff on my channel out of, I don't know, I, out of free will, you know? Okay, so this, um, this is completely free and, um, you don't have to pay for it. Um, paying for it is completely optional. Um, but anyway, so, so yeah, so the first thing that I end up doing is, uh, first I pull up the, I've already downloaded the, uh, software itself on my computer. And the reason why I downloaded it on my computer is because, um, I just like to have it right there. Like, since I'm already paying for it, I might as well, like, start, like, using the software. Um, so the easiest thing to do is, um, just go ahead and, um, drag all the pictures that you've taken or like the vendor pictures or whatever. And you drag, oh, by the way, like always make sure that your background is like a different color from the actual product that you're taking a picture of or just like your, um, Avi or whatever in general. Just make sure that the background is different. Um, like a different color because then it'll be easier for the program itself to remove the background so again this is computer generated um there aren't like little ants in the background removing the background for you <laughs> so a computer is doing this so just bear that in mind um you know like j just think of it as think of it like this like is the computer going to understand um what like this image like what we're trying to do here so yeah anyway so i go ahead and click start and it automatically goes ahead and like reads the image and removes the background so it's just going to give it a few minutes and then come back to it when um you know it's completely done so it looks like this one is completely done so um Actually, I can wait for the others, but I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with the tutorial just so, um, yeah, just so like you see what happens and, you know, and then we can kind of like move from there and end the tutorial so it's not like forever. Um, because again, as I mentioned before, my internet is kind of slow. And so, you know, there's, I try not to upload really long videos. And when I upload really long videos, um, like sometimes I'll speed them up and stuff and then I end up sounding like a chipmunk and then people start like freaking out like oh my gosh why do you sound like that are you using a, vo a voice deformer this voice thing is so weird um, I never knew how invested people will be um, based on the way that I sound um, I mean I guess I don't mind because at the same time um, in a, in a weird, twisted way, 
Um, my channel has grown significantly ever since I started talking on mic. So, um, or like ever since I started uploading videos where I'm like actually talking. Um, so I guess I don't mind at all. I mean, <laughs> Um, and, um, I will confess there have been times where I would like over exaggerate the way I sound, um, just to like troll people, but <laughs> cause it's funny. Um, I should apologize for that. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, so yeah, so let's get back into this. So once you remove the background and everything, um, you simply go ahead and click this magnifying glass and click show result. And voila, you now have an image with no background. So, um, so in Photoshop, it applies like a mask and everything. And I'm pretty sure you can open this in GIMP if you wanted to. Um, the background is going to be invisible. So this is completely awesome. Um, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, if you know of a photographer or any creators who could benefit from this, um, I definitely recommend sharing this video with them. Um, if you have any other tips that you would like to share, um, definitely feel free to either, um, create your own YouTube channel and, um, share your ideas with people and, um, or you can leave them in your ideas in the comments below. Um, anyway, so this is the end of the video. I want to thank you guys for, um, watching. I definitely appreciate it. Um, I know my videos can be kind of random. Um, but I do hope that it, it helps someone out there. So that is all. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.